Orange Billy Parrot Recovery Team has looked at all the data that describes how the population is going and as far as we can tell there are now only 50 orange billy parrots left in the wild and if their current decline continues we expect them to go extinct in the wild in the next three to five years. Conservation genetics tells us that a population should be based on 25 to 30 founders or individuals that have contributed their genes to the gene pool. Our captive population of OBPs is only based on six founding individuals. So while we have about 160 birds in captivity, they carry the genetics of only six original birds and that's um, already led to some signs of inbreeding depression in captivity and that's just not adequate for long-term management of that captive population. So we need at least 25 and we only have six so that means that we need to get another 19 founders at least from the wild to add to our captive population. So that's 19 different birds who contribute to the gene pool of the captive population. Another thing the recovery team will be doing is providing supplementary food to birds in their wintering areas to give them a bit better body condition and again by community people telling us when they've found OBPs that lets us go in and provide food to the birds. So we can't search this whole area without the help of volunteers because of a very vast amount of habitat with very few birds sprinkled in amongst it. So we really rely on volunteers to help us with that. There's a couple of ways that community members can get involved. Firstly, there's been a community effort to survey for orange-bellied parrots on the mainland every winter for about 32 years. You just, um, they're, they're still there. Really? Still both of them or one? Yeah, both of them. Imagine from here to the Victorian border how much of this kind of habitat there is, trying to find. And when they do that, <laughs> they're there and you can't see them. And the data they've collected has helped us to identify the problem that we have now, so that's really valuable. In the longer term, if we succeed in turning around the problem of the wild population, they still need good quality habitat to live in. Um, we can do things to address the other problems we see in the population, but if there's no habitat for them to go back to, then we've not achieved anything. And a lot of that habitat protection and restoration is dependent on the community, either because it's on public land and land care groups and other community volunteers can help us do weed control and revegetation, or a lot of habitat is on private land, birds feed in farmers' paddocks and that sort of thing. So managing that private land in a way that's sensitive for OBPs is really important and it's something that we can't do without those landholders being on board. The orange bellied parrot is really fortunate that it's got one of the longest running recovery efforts in Australia and a recovery team that has experts in a range of different conservation biology fields and also that there are literally hundreds of volunteers who have over the years made efforts to conserve the species and continue to do so. And I think all of that collective knowledge means that we are actually in a really good place to respond to the situation now and to do the things that need to be done and to do them quickly to try and save this species from extinction.